With sky high inflation eating away your hard earned money, it's more important now than ever to make sure that your savings are working for you. Pretty much all easy access savings rates were slashed at the start of the coronavirus pandemic, with many high street banks offering a measly 0.1% return for your savings. All that has changed now though with the UK economy in turmoil, and the Bank of England rising interest rates. We are seeing more and more banks offering some pretty decent saving rates. As has been the way for some time now though, some of the best rates are not in traditional easy access savings accounts, with some banks only offering their rates on their linked accounts. Think of it like a Trojan horse, you have to open up a current account with them to access their linked savings account. As this is the case, I try and present an array of savings products from various suppliers, as I know not everyone is in the same situation, and some of you may not want to use a certain provider due to past experiences. I for one wouldn't touch a couple of providers with a barge pole. I also won't include any accounts where you have to lock away your money for a better rate, as rates are rising so rapidly, I don't feel now is the time for that. I'll only include accounts with FSCS protection, as you want to make sure your savings are protected should the worst happen, and with recent events, I think that's sensible. I'll also include some little tips and strategies that help me to build wealth throughout the video. I'll start with easy access accounts, as they will more than likely be the first thing many of us think of when it comes to savings. These accounts don't come with any strings attached, which is great if you just want a place you can store your savings with little hassle, but unfortunately you won't get the best rates for that privilege. So first up is Tesco Bank. Their savings account offers a respectable 2.21%. 1.86% of that is a 12 month bonus though, but to be honest, with everyone jockeying for custom now, it's likely there will be a better paying easy access account within the next 12 months, so you may ought to switch before then anyway. It is a variable rate account though, so the non-fixed bonus part of this rate may well increase in the future too, bringing the overall interest rate up, and you also have the added bonus of it not being able to decrease too much thanks to that 1.86% bonus. The account is online only, so it may not be suitable for everyone, but I started off with this one as you only need £1 to open it and you have unlimited withdrawals. One strategy I used to build wealth when interest rates were higher was to store as much of my disposable cash down to the very last penny in wherever had the highest interest rate. But if you're planning on doing this, then make sure you can get the money back out without a financial penalty. So unlimited withdrawals are a must, as a new account may come out with a better interest rate. You don't want your capital locked away at that lower rate. If you want less hassle, but still want to be able to access your cash in an emergency, then Sainsbury's may be for you. They have a range of savings accounts and all seem to offer variable rates with more favorable rates for those with higher balances. Their defined access saver offers a rate of 2.75%, but you need a minimum of £1,000 to get that rate. You can open that account with a quid, but you will get a lower interest rate of 1.05% on balances between £1 and £999. You are allowed up to three withdrawals a year, but any more than that, and the interest rate drops to 0.8%. If you do want unlimited withdrawals though, then Sainsbury's also offer their eSaver special. But again, with its tiered interest rate, it doesn't look that appealing. You would need £15,000 in the account to get the rate of 1.71%, and anything below that will net you 0.95%. So say you are fortunate enough to have £10,000 to deposit. Over the year, at 0.95%, you would get a return of £95. Nice easy maths. However, £10,000 in their defined access saver would net you £275. £180 is not to be sniffed at. That's about four minutes worth of central heating, or three London pints. What a time to be alive. This is why I thought I'd make this video. The benefits to switching accounts are really starting to show now. Stepping away from supermarkets and onto the high street, the more traditional banks only seem to offer their best rates as linked accounts. So with these, you will need to have a current account with them to access these great rates. I thought I'd include these though, as some of you may already hold current accounts with these banks, but may not have seen the linked accounts or seen the recent rate rises. Just be aware if you're opening new current accounts that it can leave a mark on your credit score. The benefit with these linked savings accounts is that most pay the interest monthly as well, meaning you can get that reward from your savings on a regular basis. Best of the bunch here is Barclays. You'll need to be a Blue Reward current account holder to access their best savings account, but with an interest rate of 5.12% on balances between £1 and £5,000, it's something to think about. Balances over five grand will get a rate of 0.15%, so you really don't want to be holding more than five grand in there. Barclays Blue Reward seems to be a decent current account, but there are some obligations you need to meet to hold it. 
You'll need to pay in £800 a month into the account and there is a fee of £5. But if you have two direct debits come out of the account each month, then you will receive £5 cash back, which will negate that fee. Looking at the terms and conditions, it says that the £800 minimum pay-in can be from another current account by standing order, so you don't need to worry about changing where your payslip goes. Another way that I built wealth was to set up current accounts like these that have great interest rates and move the minimum amount required to each account by standing order, and then move whatever interest was accumulated into the account with the best interest rate. It took minimal effort and amassed me a decent fortune over the years. Nationwide offer a similar account with their Flex Direct product. You can get a 5% interest rate, but only on balances up to £1,500. Currently, they also offer a £200 one-off payment if you switch your current account to Flex Direct. If you're not wanting to switch your current account to them, you may be able to open it without switching and forego the £200 bonus. This is something you may want to check though before opening the account. Next up is Chase UK. Chase are a modern style of bank and as such have no high street presence. What this means though is that they can offer some very rewarding products as their overheads are lower than traditional banks. The bank is app based, so you will need a smartphone to open one. You will also need to open a current account to access their savings account. With Chase you can get two different savings accounts linked to the current account. You can get a savings pot which rounds up any spending up to the nearest pound and puts that bit into an account that pays 5%. This account is great for regular spenders who are looking to save. The other savings account they offer pays 2.1% interest. Interest in this account is paid monthly. You can open 10 of these savings accounts which is great if you like to have different savings pots for say cars or holidays. Or these days, a loaf of stale bread and a strand of spaghetti. The question here is why are the best rates linked to current accounts? In my opinion, it's because traditional easy access savings accounts don't give the customer the opportunity to get into debt. If they have to hold a current account with the provider too, this does give that opportunity. Debt is profitable for banks, so please be wary of this if you do open one of these current accounts. Read the terms carefully and don't be penalised by rate cuts or overdraft charges. My final tip on using these accounts to build wealth is for homeowners. If you were lucky to fix your mortgage at a low rate before the mortgage market went insane and normally overpay your mortgage, then it may be beneficial to instead put that money into a savings account, but only if that savings rate is higher than your mortgage rate. As you near the end of your term, you will either have a bigger chunk to overpay with or use it as a nest egg. You also have the benefit of having that cash readily available should you need it, whereas if you put it against your mortgage, you won't. I hope this video has been some help to you. Please leave a like and consider subscribing if it has. And if there are any saving products that you think that are great, then leave them in the comments below for others to see as we're all in this together. Stay safe out there. Peace.